right, welcome back. Nice looking day today out here in the sound. Pretty excited. It's a really clear water. I saw some really clear water when I launched. So hoping that holds true for when I get out to this deeper area that I'm trying. This is a brand new, brand new area for Todd. I kind of found this place by accident when I was wreck hopping in the summer for sea bass. And I didn't catch any sea bass over it, but it looks pretty nice, like bouldery. So maybe it's dead, but you know, maybe there's a ton of uh, tog in there too. So gotta find out. It's gonna be pretty deep though. I think it's gonna be like 50, 60 feet. So hopefully I'll still be able to use jigs, but not really sure yet what the current situation is. I think it's gonna be a relatively quick current here when I get out here though. It's like the peak of the flood. And then it'll start waning down, but getting colder. I'm gonna have to start thinking about getting a dry suit soon, so. I do too. I always end up buying more stuff than I need too when I go there. Yeah, I end up like walking around just to look around. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. 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 All right. All right, you want me to bring porgies to work for you? Oh, you, you went fishing? Yeah, I'm fishing right now. Oh! I just caught a porgy. Sure, give me some porgy. Alright. No blackfish? Not yet. I just, I literally, that was a, you called me and I just set up my anchor. I am holding with two. Two ounce jig. But, uh, it's not easy. It's just so calm out here, it's crazy. Oh. I think it's a big porky. Oh, it's a blackfish. All right. Nice, they're here. Nice, it's a decent one too. All right, a nice pretty female. Nice. All right, it's a great sign. It's really only like the third drop and I'm already seeing a blackfish. That's pretty good. That means the blackfish are already circling the area. Oh, man. Doing bad. I'm not doing good hook sets right now. Little blackfish. They're not, well at least right now, they're not, they're not in full frenzy mode. Not yet at least. Mm. All females. I think I've only caught females so far. All right, that's a decent one. Let's see. It's just a huge porgy. Wow.
Oh, what? <laughs> More giants. <laughs> oh. That's why we keep keep the bait in the mouth. It's fifteen. Almost sixteen. Crazy. I'll take him. Oh, look at this teeth. When you guys are asking me, how do I believe them fish? Well, if you look here, under their gills, under their gills, there's a soft piece of skin right there, right here. And if you puncture that, that pretty much will just bleed them out. So with Porgy's watch, you just do this. Boom. Look at all that blood filling up. And he's he's good. That's I think the best way and the most humane way to dispatch fish is to bleed them. I know some people put like spikes in their brain to kill them real quick. And that does something to the meat, makes it better. Uh, to me, that's just a little too complicated. I don't know. I'm sure there's something to it, and I'm sure it's it's good. But uh, I, I find no problem when I just bleed them out like this. You know, let that blood get in there. Make sure it's underwater, obviously. You know, if you're on a boat, a bucket helps, a bucket of water. Here in the kayak, I kind of just do this for a minute. And then put them in the... Put him in the cooler. Got a little bit of salt water in here with the ice. So it's kind of like a brine. Done. It's a good sign though. I like, I like seeing big fish in the mix. The only reason I'm using this one is it's a uh, it's one of my few two ounces. I think I have some of those SNS John Skinner two ounce ones too. So I'll, I'll use that next if I break this off. But I never tried this style yet. I think they call it like a jawbreaker, maybe. So I'm gonna give it a try. I like trying new stuff. interesting interesting bite out here it's very different it's not rapid fire as soon as i drop but it is somewhat consistent after about a minute they do come around and we did catch like three blackfish so i mean my confidence is kind of there that they're around Oh, blackfish. <laughs> oh. oh, whoa. He faked me out so hard. What? Oh. It's gonna be close. Fighting like nothing. And then saving all his energy at the top i hope he's a keeper because his guts are coming out i was re i reeled him in too quick because i didn't think he was he wasn't fighting and normally if i feel a de decent fish and i feel that they've come off the bottom then i will loosen down the drag not only just not to lose the fish but also to prevent 
their bladders from coming out or their whatever. Yeah, that's, that's a nice keeper. Right there, 17 almost, pretty much. Pretty much 17. Nice, thank you. That's good. Man, and I was just like contemplating moving too. Crazy. So it's blackfish. Now their their spot in the skin is much harder to much harder to puncture with with your uh, with your finger. These guys I'll uh, cut cut that same area. See, I just cut that same area. I'm not cutting the gills. I'm cutting that skin. About 12:30. He he crushed that thing. On the peak of the tide. It was really a subtle bite, though. I'm telling you, today has been a been a subtle bite out here it's not what I'm used to in the sound Review the footage, but I think I caught that big one. I caught that keeper on like multiple pieces. So I'm gonna try big pieces shell off. dumb as a fluke not likely There's some decent fish taking very subtle bites. Oh, this is a small fish. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna re reposition the anchor. The wind really, it really, it really changed. And now it's kind of like wind against tide. I just don't like the way I'm, I'm set up or what I'm marking. I've moved off way too much, so I'm gonna have to reset. Wind against tide is never easy. It's not so bad, actually. You just face, that's when you definitely make it bow facing, so then your bait goes out. I swung pretty much 180 degrees. I'm, I'm like the exact opposite. You can see my anchor on the screen. I definitely know there's big fish down here. They're just being really picky. fish he just had weight he had weight he didn't even make a run yet he was just didn't even know he's hooked practically I am 
of getting owned. All right, let's put this Mama Jama on there. Let's see what they say to this guy. I don't even think that big fish ever ever knew he or she was hooked. I think I still have a chance of catching them. I'm just waiting longer than than I usually do because I really want that bigger guy. Oh. I don't think this guy's that big. really feels like a porgy. Yeah, it's a giant porgy. That spike's getting hot. I can start seeing the fish. Start seeing them coming off the bottom a little bit. They are biting. They're biting good. I'm just having trouble getting that, getting that big one. They are tricky. Let's try it with the shell on. Oh yeah, we're getting good bites. Go. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. All right, come off the bottom. Oh, it's a good fish. Now that I'm off the bottom, back off the drag. Yeah, that's a nice keeper mount. Oh man. Oh, yeah, thank you, Whew. that's a nice, that's a nice fish, I knew they were down there, I knew those sharp taps were a big fish, and they're smart, they're really smart with their bites. Second male, too. Second male keeper. You got seven, 17 and a half. Yeah, about 17 and a half. These are good, these are good fish out here. I can just tell this piece hasn't really been fished. Good sized fish out here. Wow, look at that thing. Look at those teeth. Man, someone's got a brush that right there. It's got some plaque build up. Oh, it's an oyster toad. What up, oyster? Cool looking, though. Just tiny ones now, huh? That was really nice fish came when the current was pretty strong. Alright, I will try. I will try the underwater. Alright, alright. 
this first clip you're seeing is actually earlier in the day when I first got to the spot I had sunlight and so I immediately put the camera down because I wanted to see if I could capture footage with the lighting the way it was and sure enough there's not a whole lot going on right here but you see the boulder to the left you see a little porgy nibbling on the crab but look at this lighting this lighting is actually really good for 55 feet plus or minus I mean this is good but again remember that the Sun was still out so now you're gonna see I put the camera down right around the time I said I was going to and it's pitch black and that's just because the Sun went behind the clouds you can probably make out there's a couple porgies in here big porgies hitting the bait you can see their whiter mouths but yeah I mean look how dark it is without when it's overcast this is that same area and now you're seeing me attaching the light and this is pretty interesting because with the light you see all the particles that are actually there the problem is once I add this light it illuminates all the little particles in the water so it still kind of doesn't come out but if you look closely you can see the bottom there you can see my jig off to the left here's some rocks to the right with a lot of coral on them and you can see some blackfish are down here surprisingly I was able to get the jig in the frame and you see it right there with the crab some blackfish are interested but these are small ones look like small females similar to what I was catching around this time and even though this footage was taken during a very short period of time when I was fishing this is pretty typical of what it was like up top very timid and wary bites from the blackfish not very frequently it never was a very super hot bite you can also tell by the way the particles are moving that the tide is moving very slow so what I'm starting to realize is just how when you're in deeper water there really isn't much light down there in the western sound especially when it's overcast and even though the shallow water it may look crystal clear when you get into 50 55 even 60 feet uh, it's it's pretty dark down there so using jigs maybe that do have colors bright colors or even glow I uh, do see how they could be beneficial we'll have to test it out maybe a little bit more I attempted that underwater but it's just so dark I tried the light even and you know maybe I'll show some of that but it's just so dark it's not coming out good so I just want to finish finish the end of this tide here trying to get one more they're still biting down there I'm still getting like little taps got two really nice fish I'm very thankful for that I'll be totally okay leaving here today with what I got there's some smart fish down there today probably go down to a lesser weight because that current is like nothing right now and you know what that's probably what I should do Oh. oh, yeah, the drag was so tight. Big porgy. a lighter jig this one looks not as heavy this is definitely one or maybe three quarters this will just help me get I think or at least feel a more sensitive bite from one of those bigger ones those big ones that I caught today really didn't have like 
crazy bite. And they're pretty subtle. They were smart. They were, you can just tell. Got like a smart grab and a twist of their head. They really are like they pinpoint where they bite bite the crab on your hook and then do it hard. <clears throat> Dropped it. I don't know what it was. Bait's gone. So now I can feel when the bait's gone much easier too. Quite the initial run. It's weakening now. Oh, it's a sea bass. Oh, that's a, that's a, it's probably small. Yeah, it's fourteen. Pleasant surprise. They're hitting it as soon as it gets down. Oh. oh! I think that's another sea bass. It's like a school of sea bass rolled through. Oh, that's a big porgy. Dang, man. Sheesh. Wow. Keep him. I had a friend who wanted some porgy. That is a nice porgy. Probably 14, 15, probably 15. Bite is really just, really just started picking up. It's been a very finicky bite the whole time I've been out here, really. What have we got here? Seems like more jumbo porgies. Oh man. That's a, that's a decent edge shake right there. It's gotta be a slab porgy. Oh! oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is this is some good fall fishing. But it's, I think it's mostly porgies hitting it. Could be. Oh, that's not a porgy. Oh, is it? What? Is that a porgy? It's got the head shakes like one. Oh. Yeah, it's a porgy. Come on. Come on. I thought it was a blackfish. Giant porgies. Look at that guy. He's bleeding good. It's like 15, 14 and a half. 15 almost. Sharp tap. That's that was a blackfish. That was a blackfish. Blackfish. Man, 
these things are coming up so slow and then just they beeline it once they see the boat. It's not a keeper, but it's probably probably, probably close to 15 or so. Like I keep wait if I wait too long, they will. They will just take it all. Though, right there. Oh, see that bounce right there? That's when you have to go. See that bounce? That sharp bounce is when they have it. They're only taking like one, one swing with their head. They're not picking it up and running. He hit that as soon as I I moved the jig a lot, like a big. I wanted to reposition it, and he hit that on the fall. She. Toad. What is that? That's a blackfish. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is he deciding now? Oh. Oh, it's a porky. under my seat. Baby black. It ended up being a really nice outing considering I haven't tried that spot for blackfish. And yeah, I do think it's a good it's a good area. There's a couple like spots in it too. I only tried like one, so I might come back there again if I get some time. Yeah, yeah I brought that guy along with me because I had a feeling this this rope way back would be a little bit dicey. And just you know, makes it easier. Yeah, it's pretty cool to get those two big fish. I know the underwater probably didn't come out, but what I do think is going on over there is the current was actually good. The current is what brought out some of those bigger fish to feed. When the current died, I just didn't get big bites. I got all like little bites. Slack tide might work in good in certain areas, but it uh, doesn't really work in all areas. So kind of have to learn your area and what tide is the best for that location. So, I... oh, now the sun comes out, go figure. Well, anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.